For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a huge update video for you guys today. It's mostly about X Factors and Superstar ability changes, but there's also been some gameplay changes, some updates to Mutt. I'm going to go over all that. But before I do, if you guys are going to continue this series, anytime there's an update or a change to Madden, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section as I do intend on doing an update video every single time to let you guys know what changed. Now, I'm going to start off with probably one of the most significant changes, and that's to the actual fatigue tuning. Uh, it says that they went right back. It says that we now have reverted the fatigue changes where, defend where defenders will get a severe fatigue penalty when pass rushing and engaging in a block with a blocker that was significantly larger than them. So basically what it sounds like they did is they just went back to the old way because they tried to patch it. They tried to change it to try to, you know, nerf these meta defenses like uh, the dollar uh, DB fire two and the spinner blitzes and stuff like that. But it just made the game even worse. So it sounds like they're going back to the way that it used to be. It's just when they say the word reverted, that means that they just kind of went back to the old programming, in my opinion. But you guys are going to have to play the game and let me know in the comment section because they said this in the last patch that they changed it, that they fixed it, that they tuned it. And a lot of people were like, nah, still the same. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting to find out if they actually did change it, if they fixed it, if they went back to the old way. But like I said, let me know in the comment section because I haven't tried that yet. Uh, but there is a dev note as well. It says, through the concept of this new fatigue penalty was something that was correct in the in premise. The application resulted in too many undesired artifacts that hindered the end user's playing experience. It says, we do plan to revisit this in the future and possibly implement a more comprehensive version in an upcoming title. So I'm guessing what that means is uh, maybe in Madden 25 or whatever they call it based on the fact that there already was a game called Madden 25. Uh, they might try to bring that back, but for the rest of this year, they're not going to do a half ass patch. It sounds like it's just going to go back to the way that the, the game was working before, which, to be honest, was probably fine. I mean, I, I didn't really have an issue with it. I never have an issue with the game, however it is, uh, but the fatigue penalty was kind of ridiculous because there were times um, where, you know, the, the fatigue was just ridiculous. It was just over. It was just too much. Linebackers, smaller defensive linemen, they were all getting fatigued like crazy, and it was just, it was just really stupid. So hopefully they finally fixed that. Uh, I went back to the old way. Now, the, the biggest thing about this, by the way, I guess I'll leave that for last. There is a Season 5 update. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over this. Apparently, there's a, a, an overpowered Derrick Henry running back card, um, NFL Combine stuff coming out. But I'll leave that to your favorite mutt, uh, you know, whoever your favorite mutt content creator is because I don't even really play mutt this year. I haven't played mutt since probably last year. Um, but yeah, they also have a new Michael Irvin card, all that stuff. But let's just get that out of the way so we can get to what this video is really about. And that is the massive overhaul of the X Factors and Superstar abilities. First, I'm going to go over the downgraded players as far as X Factors and Superstars. As far as X Factors, Von Miller, Josh Jacobs, Demarcus Lawrence, Austin Eckler, and Terry McLaurin all were downgraded. Uh, as far as the Superstar abilities, Cameron Jordan, Kevin Byard, Dallas Goddard, Ryan Jensen, Mika Be Becton, uh, Kyle Pitts, Shaq Barrett, Daniel Carlson, and uh, Ku, the, the, the kicker, I'm not even sure how to say his name, Deontay Johnson, and Tony Pollard. Now, out of all those guys... I could probably argue for Terry McLaurin. He had, he had a thousand yards, even though he really didn't have much of a quarterback situation. I would also argue for Dallas Goddard. I don't know why he lost his, but he was injured. Uh, he was definitely a guy that, I mean, to me, he's one of the best two-way tight ends as far as blocking and receiving in the game. Although I can understand any player uh, for the Eagles losing their abilities and stuff like that because how their season ended. Uh, but that's probably the two biggest ones that stand out to me. Uh, I think Deontay Johnson might have had a pretty decent year too. I don't know if he had a good year or bad year, but once again, he doesn't have much of a quarterback. So those are the guys that lost them. But let's go and let's find out the ones that, that gained them. Now, I can't really argue with any of these. As far as new X factors, I still feel like um, Joe Burrow deserves to get back whatever he lost. I think that was just stupid. And he's not on this list, spoiler alert. But we do have CeeDee Lamb who got rack him up. Josh Allen, who I wasn't even sure. I'm surprised he, was, he didn't have an X Factor already. He got unstoppable force. Uh, Kyle Hamilton got reinforcement. Uh, another guy who had a monster year. Matt Milano, I thought was injured for most of the year, if I remember correctly. Somehow he got an X Factor in reinforcement, even with that. Uh, Amon Ra St. Brown got double me. And that's definitely, you know, all those guys are definitely deserving as having, um, like I said, I'm not sure about Matt Milano, but all those guys are definitely deserving. They're all great players. Now, moving on to superstars. This is where it gets a little bit confusing because they give you a huge list of the new superstars, but they don't actually tell you what they got. So I'm going to go through what they got on the actual game. Starting from the top with Kyle Hughescheck. Now, Kyle Hughescheck 
is to me a straight up just blocking fullback. So when I heard that he had a superstar ability, I thought maybe they gave him like a lineman ability, but no, they gave him mid out elite, which is improved catching on medium passes outside the numbers. I don't really think of him as much of a receiver. He doesn't get a ton of catches. What the hell is that about? Then he also got matchup nightmare, which is better route running and catching versus linebackers. So if you if you want to use Kyle Hushek as a receiving threat, he's definitely going to be a better one now. Next up, Laramie Tunsil got secure protector and screen protector. They're, they're their left tackle for the uh, the Texans. And Nico Collins, who had a monster end of the season, got mid and elite and deep and elite. For the Falcons, Chris Lindstrom got fool me once and secure protector. For the Buccaneers, Antoine Winfield Jr. got tip drill and acrobat. Couple of guys on the Browns, Denzel Ward got acrobat and deep route KO. Obviously really good abilities there. David Njoku got tight end apprentice and short end elite. I'm not really sure if he should. I think he should have got something a little different. He had a monster end of his season as well. Trey Henderson for the Bengals got no outsiders and edge threat. We got a couple of guys for the uh, Jaguars as well. We got uh, Jukebox and Backfield Master for uh, Travis Etienne. And Evan Ingram got tight end apprentice and mid out elite. The Panthers didn't have much of a year, but Derek Brown did as he got swim club and unpredictable. And the Super Bowl champion Chiefs got a couple of additions with Creed Humphrey, who is a guy that's been one of the best centers in the league for a couple years now since he came into the league. He got linchpin, which is a stronger blocking from all offensive linemen, obviously a big one, and natural talent. I remember when linchpin got added to the game, Creed Humphrey was a guy who was like, he should probably get that, just like um, you know Jason Kelsey did for the Eagles. Those are the only two guys that I could think of and now Creed Humphrey has it. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco also got jukebox and balance beam. I feel like he could have got something like um, you know thing that a fatigue uh, whatever the one is called where that fatigues guys that try to hit stick them because that's what I think of when I think of Isaiah Pacheco but this is definitely an improvement and if you're a Lions fan this is the update you were waiting for as like I said earlier Amon Ra St. Brown got double media got an X factor but you also got two linemen that got uh, something as well with Panay Sewell got natural talent and screen protector Frank Ragnow got linchpin as well that's at least three centers in the game now that have linchpin and he got all day so he's going to be a beast and then last but not least you got uh, Sam Laporta who got mid in elite and in my opinion could have got something else but that's three players added plus obviously Amon Amon Ross St. Brown got his uh, X Factor he already had um, a lot of uh, you know superstar abilities but the Lions are starting to look like the Lions now one of the bigger ones if you like to use the Dolphins who are already an overpowered team because of guys like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell and you know just all the speed they have on that team uh, is Raheem Mostert got added he has evasive now which is uh, steerable juke moves and spin moves which is like the best version of that I think and balance beam so this makes that offense even more overpowered the Rams had a pretty good season, surprisingly, and uh, Pukunakua got a um, you know got some uh, some superstar abilities earlier in the year. Now Kyron Williams, who also had a really good year, got Bruiser, more powerful truck and stiff arm animations. That's kind of like I was saying about Isaiah Pacheco. I feel like he should have got something like Bruiser. And then last but not least, Brees Hall got uh, evasive as well. They're giving out evasive like candy right now. <laughs> this is one of the better ones in the game. And uh, backfield master uh, for more hot routes and improved catching from the backfield. So. The, a lot of the better teams really got improved with some of these uh, X factors and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's the entire uh, list. That's everything from the video. Um, it was a big update. It was like a, I heard it was like a gig and a half, uh, but definitely a worthwhile update. So if you guys want me to continue to make update videos, because I'm sure there'll at least be one or two more before the summer, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.